Call the member for Werriwa. Thank you, Deputy Speaker. To begin with, I would like to rise with all members to personally add my condolences in this place to the 50 victims, men, women and children, who lost their lives in the Christchurch attacks. You should have been safe in your place of peaceful worship. This should not have happened, especially at the hands of an Australian citizen. This was an attack was as cowardly as it was horrific, targeting worshippers at their most vulnerable. I especially offer my condolences to those families that have been directly impacted by this unspeakable act. Since the attack, I've been invited to speak at vigils and services within the Islamic community in my electorate. The community is visibly shaken, but the dominant theme within the speeches at these events has been how things can be better if we move forward together as one community and one family. Deputy Speaker, I would like to use the remainder of this speech today to reflect on the social con conditions that ensure that extremism and terrorism have no place in our society. What we need to say is words matter, actions matter, responses matter. What happened in Christchurch targeted some of us, but it actually happened to all of us. And as awful as the perpetrator's actions were, our focus must, be, must remain only on helping and supporting those impacted by the attack. Let's look to the good and let's come together and support not only the community members in Christchurch and New Zealand, over 2,000 kilometres away, but also our friends and neighbours here in our own communities. Some of the residents of my electorate have been directly impacted by the Christchurch tragedy. I especially acknowledge my constituents who lost loved ones in the mosque and provide my most sincere condolences to them. When I was at the Green Valley Islamic Mosque Open Day uh, a couple of Sundays ago, a woman who, like me, is a mother and a grandmother, relayed that her son should have been at the mosque that day for prayers. He was there most Fridays. However, fate intervened and a late work meeting meant that he was running late and was not in the mosque when the firing began. This woman was still visually shaken by these events. She told me of the anxious wait for a phone call and the relief she felt when it came from her son and not the police. And also then the guilt about those people who got a phone call from the police. So many families were not spread that terrible phone call. Since the Christchurch attack, members of my community have been subject to threats and actions that are at best un-Australian and at their worst illegal. I will, not deal them, I will not detail them in this place. However, I do thank the police of the Liverpool Command for their leadership and support for those communities have, that have been affected by these threats. Terrorism relies on fear, relies on mistrust and relies on demonising another. Let us stop all those things now and embrace each other with, the, with love and support. Remember the good things that comes out of tragedies like this. The police, the, param the paramedics and the bystanders who in the face of fear and uncertainty still went towards the danger to assist those who were injured and killed. This is our humanity. This is the way we support each other. The way we speak matters. Words should be used wisely. Cons consider carefully what is said. Racism, hate or whatever other name it goes by is wrong because we are all the same. Those affected by these attacks are all of us and they are one of us. We all love the same. We all love our families, our children, our parents and our friends. We are all more the same than not. I want to reiterate my condolences to each of the victims, their families and the pe people of New Zealand.